your characters got together at the end of two. Mm -hmm. As three opens, Isabel comes to the trailer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Alex doesn't want it to be known to Isabel that you guys were together. You were scared, dude. That was very, that was was heartbreaking for you Mm -hmm. and also a fear moment for your character. Can you guys talk a little bit about that and how your character sort of reacted to that moment and what that means going forward? You know what's funny? When we were filming that, I remember the specific direction. I think originally I played it like, oh man, we're about to get caught, like that kind of fear. Mm -hmm. And then it actually turns, you know, through the direction it turned into a little bit more of like, I can't, I'm not ready for this. Like I just decided to make this happen and now, you know, I'm not, I'm not ready for your friends and family and to know like we we got to take this slowly. You know, so right. Um, but Isabel, though, she's been part of his life his whole life. I just don't think Alex is ready. Alex is not. He hasn't come to terms yet with his own. Yeah. His own journey. Yet, Which is so, so interesting because you would think that my character would be the one. I know. That wouldn't well, come I think to terms that he with just. He, he. I just don't give a crap anymore. You know, I'm yeah, I'm exactly. ready for there to be no secrets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's a big thing that my character struggles with throughout the season is like when do you just stop keeping secrets? Yeah. Yeah. But that was that was a crazy scene. I remember that cuz yeah. it totally shifted and changed in the way we shot it. Um Yeah. yeah. It hurt. Yeah. yeah. I was legitimately hurt when you were Yeah. It, it's like waking up after being with someone and just feeling the shame that you, they maybe have. It's like you didn't have that the night before. What's right. this about? Right, and I sort of was surprised too because I, I almost thought that because of the closeness between Michael and Isabel that Alex, might, like it, it might have already been known by her at some mm. point in time. But I guess that also establishes that their relationship has it really isn't known by anybody. Right. No, I don't think so. Nobody. Anybody, right? Well, And it we'll wasn't in the past. Right. As far as we know, in the past it wasn't known by anybody either. Right. So this has been completely a secret relationship, which is, yeah. I guess, something we kind of realize in that episode. Separating the romance from your, your storyline. So what are we going to see Alex doing in the town? Obviously, he's, he's still employed with mm-hmm. the military and he's still going around doing stuff. Kind of what are, what, what, what are we going to see as, as his storyline uh, sort of weaves and bobs through Roswell? I mean, fortunately, I was able to play a lot of different avenues of, of Alex's life. You know, you really, he starts to reconnect with, um, his friends, Liz and Maria, like they were the closest of friends in high school, they kind of became estranged. And then um, now that he's back in, in Roswell, he, he's working on those friendships, which mm-hmm. I think is a, a really fun aspect of Alex's personality. You see his struggle with his father and that dynamic, and it's a really deep one. And then obviously you find, you know, him struggling with his emotions um, with Michael. And for Michael, obviously a lot of his storyline is related to his siblings and yeah. Liz and the secret. Is that kind of the direction we're going to see him going in throughout the season? Definitely. And then I mean, what maybe he is working on in his trailer. Yeah, because of the weird mm. stuff. Right, the, right. That he thought was used for meth. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, maybe I am doing meth. Yeah, we'll but you find had out. all these things on your wall. It was your, it was your, was that a beautiful mind wall in the trailer? Oh, yeah. Very observant. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. Picked up on a lot of that. Um, yeah, definitely. I think it's like mending relationships, saving relationships, mm-hmm. uh, maybe losing certain relationships, uh, and then also... Yeah, Max and you not getting along well at all. No, and you'll find out why, you know? You'll find out why. And there's a big reveal in episode two as well. Uh, my hand. Mm-hmm. You know, what happened to my hand? Why is my hand that way? Mm. Um, if Max can heal things, why hasn't my hand been healed? You know, a lot of a lot of questions to be answered, and you'll find out why my character feels the way he feels. He's got some good powers, though. He can just mm-hmm. blow, blow car windows apart. That he just cannot just control. Like, yeah. Jealous. But still, you know, it's fun to have that kind of a power. Oh, definitely. Do you think he's got other powers, too? Ooh, I think we might. Maybe. I don't know what I could say, but I think maybe. I'll take that as a maybe. Maybe we all have more powers. I don't know. What have you been enjoying most about playing these two roles? Playing your roles? Wow, that's honestly just like a very and it's loaded good. question for me because I, I I find the... They're very rich roles. I know. I know. And I... And I They're gifts. Truly. I, I think... I think... Um, wow, oh man. I, it's hard to say. I really... I love my character's arc throughout the entire season. Um, I can relate to not really understanding how to, uh, like, what, what, what's your identity, you know, like, not belonging. I think the through line of this entire, uh, like, this entire series is that we're all aliens in our own way. Yeah. And we all have to figure out how to, how to live 
you know, on planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, and we're all, we're all, I feel like everybody's hiding something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very hard to be completely open. And, uh, you know, my character, especially I know, is hiding a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've, I've really enjoyed toying that line of like, you know, stoic kind of renegade bad boy, but like very vulnerable. Yeah. And it comes out in specific moments and yeah. that was always really fun to to kind of pick and choose or just feel out when it when it should be revealed. Mm -hmm. Can we imagine what your nights were like when you would go home with a new script <laughs> and just like, oh my gosh, I, like these are the emotions I have to go through in the next yeah. few days. There was something about when we shot together though where it was like, I just like, I don't know, I didn't even have to do a lot of prep work like it just like we were just there it just we, clicks we yeah got there together and it was well you like give a lot support. man he's got a lot going on in those eyes <laughs> you look closely on well, screen I mean, just like that kind of comment al alone it feels so supportive and then it was the same thing where i was like i'm so lucky to be working with like a real actor you know uh and i just feel like it made it so easy to find those characters you know yeah like, I, I truly I, I i it wasn't even like an arduous process. It's just been great to see because it's such a rich storyline the two of you have. Yeah. And it gets really good. Yeah. I will okay. Say. I think it yeah. gets really good. Get ready.